Well guys, as the title states, uh, the day that you're seeing this should be Tuesday. It'll be about 60 days until I leave um, to do some training, still stateside, and then I leave um, to go overseas for a while. I am a contractor. I work uh, for the government. I used to be in the Air Force. I spent six years in the Air Force as an aircraft mechanic working on the MQ-1 Predator and MQ-9 Reaper. Got out, got a job with Lockheed Martin. I work at the, the same building with the same people, same planes, same tools, same parking lot, different break room, and this is what I wear to work. I just wear like shorts and steel toe shoes or boots, whatever. I got real lucky getting a job that I had already been doing, except for now I get paid a little bit more, I get less days off, uh, taxes hit me twice as much, but I also have this opportunity to still deploy. And when we, de when we deploy, you can imagine, that's a lot more money. I've been working, 12 hour days for 120 days straight. Um, I'll be gone from mid-November and I'll be back mid-March. Hopefully I'm back before TX2K. But the way it's looking, I don't, I don't think I will be. I might come, be coming back like the week of, and if that's the case, then I'll probably just try and fly right into Houston and hang out down there. But um, yeah, so got about 60 or so days until I leave. Um, I highly doubt I'll be putting any content up. I might take my hard drive and do like a couple, like compile some videos of like racing and stuff like that. If if I even have time, if I even take this laptop, I don't even know if I'm going to. I'm gonna think about getting one of the nice iPad Pros uh, just so I have something that's easy to carry around or hold a good charge. This thing's bulky. It's I mean it's super powerful computer. It's an MSI, but I don't know if I really want to take that overseas and get dust all in the vents and stuff but um, yeah so that's coming down soon but the payout for this is pretty nice I'll be making more than what I make in a year home side I'll make in four months deployed so with that comes um, I owe about oh it doesn't even matter I will be paying off the car first and I, I, the only real debt I have is this house my car and then a personal loan all my cards are paid off all that my credit's through the roof right now, which is awesome. So, car's gonna get paid off, then my personal loan, and then with that, um, I'm gonna buy a bunch of stuff from the for the car. So, uh, there's a picture here of the wing wing back seats. I've been wanting these seats since my Mark IV R. I've been drooling over these seats for forever. I've never, I don't think I've ever sat in them. I think I seen a set at H2OI the first year I went, which was like 2016, 2015, something like that. And I've fallen in love. I am absolutely getting these seats, and I will make them fit one way or another. They don't have airbags, so I have to uh, get resistors for the sensors. But uh, so that'll be coming. It'll be seats, lightweight battery for sure, um, digital uh, dash. I'm probably gonna order the bigger nine-inch screen here before I leave, actually, just so I have some money on a card, give me something to slowly pay off while I'm gone. Um, I'm trying to get my. Credit score above like 830. I'm, I'm almost there. So I need to play with some money still. But So I'm getting those two things from the interior. I'm going to get, uh, I don't know, I might get that CAE, CAE shifter. It depends on how my buddy Alan, he just got his. I don't know when he's installing it. I have to message him. But he just put a picture on Instagram like the other day of it. So I imagine it's going in soon. So if I can still keep the trim inside and make it and have it look decent with that because the shifter is super tall and it's this big bulky bracky system but uh i like to have that and let's say lightweight battery we'll be getting i want to get oem uh euro front headlights that don't have the orange uh which we'll call it reflector in there i want i'll probably grab another set of wheels and tires i'll probably upgrade my bc shocks at least, and I'm probably gonna up on spring rates. They're totally rebuildable, so I'll probably do that. Um, what else? Oh, I wanna do uh, front and rear diffs. Wave track makes a front one that you can easily buy, but for the rear, I have to buy a new Helix by itself and then ship that to them and have them install it. And then I'll install that on my car and then sell the other one or just keep it as a spare. And uh, then a built head. That's my goal for next year, to have that all done. I'm not gonna buy all that while I'm deployed. I'm buying the seats, probably the dash, and the headlights while I'm gone. So I have some nice things to look at when I come back home. And then, as soon as I can, 
Well, because I come back in March, and then Wookiees is in April. So probably right after Wookiees, um, I'll probably go. From what I've read, you know, I haven't been doing too much research on it because I get obsessed. When I find a new topic of something, I get obsessed with it, and then I just want to do it right away. And I have the money to do it, and I don't want to do it yet. I'm not ready for it. Um, but I believe IROS will do a port and polish and then install. I'm going to do it with the IE. Well, it's not even IE, but they sell the kit. But I guess it is for their springs and retainers, I think. And then the valves and stuff is for Ferrera. Ferrera. Um, I'll show you here. And I'll order that stuff and then probably take the IROS and have them do the head and stuff. I like drive out to Vegas and spend a week there. I got a buddy out there who should be getting his car back soon. He has a built motor. And had, I'm not sure if it got port and polished, but I'm pretty sure it did, with a um, full fuel system and an EQT turbo on his uh, manual Mark 7 Golf R. And it should be done soon. It's all going to be done at IROS. You guys are probably going to see this car all over the internet here soon. I'm not going to say who it is, but uh, he knows who he is. I'm excited as fuck to see his car. And I, I want to make a trip out to Vegas like just to hang out with him. And... Uh, yeah, see the car. He's like one of my earliest subscribers, one of the first guys that were commenting on my videos, and we gone back and forth for many months now on Instagram. So dude's dude's cool as fuck. I don't want to give away who it is or all the sauce, but the car's gonna be badass. And uh, I imagine. So why do I want to do build head? I want to be able to rev to at least like 8,000 RPM um, and autocross going up against like the S2000s and Miatas and all the cars that have all this extra RPM on me in first and second gear. It would help me out a lot. A lot, a lot, and then being able, you know, push the power band up a little bit, and then, uh, you know, with having it ported, you could run less boost, say, and you make 500 at 30 pounds. Well, with the port and polish head, you could just rice or math, you could make 500 at say like 25 pounds. So five less psi, less stress on the motor, but you're making as much power. You see what I'm saying? So right now I run like, uh, say like 28. 29 pounds and make 450 basically well I could run say 25 pounds and, and make that 450 so and it'll help in the long run if I ever do decide to go to, and the turbo should be able to spool quicker with less you know more air being able to get in and out of the motor so that's that's my biggest thing next year if there's one thing I get done next year it will be a built head and then I'm gonna buy a short block and build that on the side I want to show you guys um, well, we're going to learn it together because I've never built a motor top to bottom. So I want to build a motor on the side. And I'm gonna, I literally, in my roommate's old room right here, I'm going to lay the floor down with plastic and engine stand, hoist, all that stuff. I'm going to build an engine in that room. Um, at least, we'll see. If it's not in that room, it'll be up with my buddies in, uh, in Amarillo. But, so yeah, the one, the main thing that's going to get done. 2020, build head, seats, headlights, um, another set of wheels and tires, what else did I say, lightweight battery, and the diffs. I really, at least, at the very least, get the front diff. Getting the whole rear diff set up with, is going to be crazy, because if I, if I remove the rear head I might as well hook up, there's a buddy on Instagram, um underscore flex underscore r, and he has scored some really cool suspension stuff, some tubular, um, craziness so if that rear end is coming out i'm going to take out the whole subframe everything and go tubular replace all the arms everything the whole rear end wind up being tubular if i do that uh the wave track in the rear so but anyways so what's going on before i leave i soon as i'm waiting the money's ready it's, it's here it's it's ready to go as soon as the parts are pulled off the car i found the part out for brakes so big brake kit for the front and then i have some special sauce coming uh, for the rest of the brake system. It's going to be super dope. I'm super excited. The front brakes will be able to, as soon as I get here, I'm going to put them in because i got to send him my front brakes back. Um, so i got a deal because I'm giving him my fronts. I'm taking his fronts. But what else is going on is going to be pretty dope. And I'm super, super excited. Um, he was supposed to get him off the car this weekend. I don't think he had the time. So hopefully this weekend or this week he gets him off. And then, so about two weeks, they'll go on. I need to order pads for the rear still, and uh, 034 just came out with front end links that aren't spherical, and then rear end links that aren't spherical. So the spherical ones are like metal on metal, and they pop and make noise, and these ones are, are the rubber. So I'm going to, as soon as T-Mobile sends me my card, because they bought out my uh, 
Verizon account, so I went from Verizon and T-Mobile so I could switch phones. I traded in my Pixel 3 XL and got the OnePlus 7 Pro, which is a dope phone. Any of my Android nerds here, uh, Google, Google guys, you'll know what I'm talking about. And the OnePlus 7 Pro is fucking super dope. The only thing it's lacking is kind of in the camera department, but any phone compared to the Pixel is going to be lacking in the camera department. But the battery, the 90 hertz screen, not having a notch, the camera pops out of the top, the work charge is crazy. Literally today I put my phone on a charger at 8% at work and I went out to the smoke pit, hung out for a little bit, came back in, maybe 20 minutes and my phone had bumped up. I think it was 43% in 20 minutes. Crazy. Charges crazy fast. And uh, just super nice. Screen's way better, speakers are way better. It's nice. Anyway. Um, so yeah, before I leave, it'll be brake, brake setup, end links, and then probably the 9 inch screen before I deploy. And then when I come back, all types of things. The seats should be sitting here waiting. I'll probably swap those out like the week I get back, get in the digital dash. I don't know if my buddy with the Alltrack is going to be uh, PCS before then, but he's done the, the swap before. I'll, I'll at least be able to talk to him to, to walk me through it, but I really, really like it. He swapped. The, the bigger screen and the digital dash into his all track, which is also a uh, Boss 500 UM ProFlex car. Um, as I think he just got everything ironed out and put on the dyno like last week. So here soon we'll be getting some some content of that car. I mean, he did a whole 7.5 .7 front end swap on the all track. It, it is a seriously freaking awesome car. He did this all himself. He's like super guru. I'm sort of a little comment down below here now. The dude is smart as fuck. Like, He's the one that came and helped me do my uh, uh, MBI install and the, the fuel pump. Super, super cool guy. He's done the most, of, like he starts talking about this stuff and I'm, I get lost right away. Like I don't know anything about wiring. So definitely gonna need his assistance when the time comes. But I just wanna let you guys know what's coming for the rest of the season. So we got at least two autocross events this month and two next month with the very old hole being um, time. <laughs> But then Roswell, depending on their dates, so potentially at least four or more events before I leave, but possibly up to six. Uh, I want to try and make a trip out to Phoenix before I leave, like mm, probably early October. And October 19th, I'm going to go see a day to remember here in Lubbock. And then over Halloween, I'm going back to Pennsylvania for like four or five days. My sister's having a baby around that time. And I want to be home around Halloween because we always have this big Halloween party at one of the local bars and be able to see all my friends. And then I leave like a week or two after that. Um, I can't say where I'm going, so don't ask. Can't tell you how much I'm making. So that's just weird, but you can imagine. It's like 12 hour days, seven days a week for 120 days, plus a bonus at the end, plus per diem being there. It's gonna be nice, it's gonna be real nice. I'm excited to, and then on top of that, when I get back, you know, I don't have a car payment anymore, so I'm looking at over, like, close to like 1200 bucks a month that I could just, after bills, after the house is paid, you know, everything, I like 1200 bucks a month to just dump on the car. So, I mean, that right there, that's the cost of the wave track, so there's that, for at least for the front. I mean, just, there's going to be a lot done. Next year will be a lot of expensive changes, maybe not as many as there was this year as, you know, item for item, but it'll be a lot of big, big moves on the car to get it to where I want to be. Eventually, you know, we'll probably wide body the damn thing and put big old wheels and thick tires and some aero and hopefully by then I'll be moved and live near like Coda or something cool and I can actually go out and do like real track days and eventually my end goal is to, you know, go do grid life and stuff like that. Autocross is just kind of like the precursor, car control down and small, you know, track time, track area, and just eventually lead that up to, to doing bigger track stuff. I'm gonna be up there with Zach Ross and, you know, Brian and all those awesome guys out there doing their damn thing in the, in the Mark 7. Uh, yeah, I just, I wanna be there. That's what I wanna do. That's where I wanna be, that's my end goal. But. Still got some time. I'll probably deploy again before I actually move out of this place. I bought this house like three, four years ago. And the rent market, the housing market here isn't terrible, but the house does need some work. I had some water damage out there and then uh, these, you know, people call them goat heads or stickers. Like my 
front zero skate lawn is just like infested with them. So I need to get the whole front dug up, get the rubber stuff put back down, the rocks put back down on top, and then half the fence is like broken and half like barely fixed because of the you know 80 mile an hour winds we get here in the in the fall. It gets crazy in the fall here. It is crazy, crazy. People will, like you'll see trampolines like hung on electrical lines that like last year my freaking my whole shed got uprooted like I don't even know where it went one day it was here next day it was gone I have no idea what neighbor or what house my shed landed on it's just gone never see it again just picked the whole thing up and took it it's wild it's wild out here but anyway it's 15 minutes of me ranting um autocross this weekend autocross next weekend possibly two autocross next next weekend Lubbock they want to do two events since it's their last event of the year. They want to do a, a Saturday morning and Sunday morning. So we'll see. But there's a lot of stuff going on. Like, so there's all out call out in Albuquerque. There's a baby shower. I just got invited to a buddy's daughter's first birthday. There's just too many things going on. But we'll see. If you guys have any suggestions for parts or something that I should buy or you want to see or something that I should look into, I'm going to have not a lot of time, but a lot of time, I guess, when I'm deployed to do a lot of research. I have a whole list of stuff on my phone that I want with links to um, forums and, and places to buy things and there's just a lot of stuff. And then I'm also, once this car is paid off, I'm going to buy a truck and a trailer. That way I can't go to big events and not worry about not having to worry about turning the boost down. My camera just cut me off. I guess you can't record more than 17 minutes at a time. But uh, I guess that's enough of me ranting. Drinking beer. I'm back on day shift this week so I can do weapons training. I drive this little jammer and I load missiles on the planes with this machine thing with an arm. It's pretty cool. But that's how we're looking. That's how we're looking. To spend Christmas and New Year's in some foreign country. <laughs> anyway, thanks for listening to me ranting. Uh, drop suggestions, comments, concerns down below. And um, I'll talk to you guys there. Catch you on the flip flop.